another Thursday, some more news. Let's jump right into it. All right, so Pisces had a birthday. Pisces is now the lead class designer for Venture Quest Worlds. And for his birthday, there is a seasonal, not rare or anything, but a seasonal pet that you can get in the pet shop in Battle on Town. No one, the holy goldfish. He's a fish. Maybe one day he'll fight. So there you go. And that is available for gold in Battle on. Lay's Infinity Titan is coming out this Friday or tomorrow if you're watching this video on the day it's uploaded. So part of a bonus package, there's a cool color custom hair I think is going to be included with this. Probably the reason I'll get it. And uh, some other stuff there. If you've seen previous news videos, you've seen a bunch of stuff with uh, regarding this set. There might even be like a sort of mount throne sort of thing. So pretty cool set and uh, that'll be out tomorrow. I'll probably get it on stream tomorrow if you want to check that out. Alina also tweeting out a first look at several of the characters and armor sets that will appear in the chapters of the Shadow of War saga from left to right, Pirate, Cat Thief, Spider Witch, and Bone Terror. So it looks like we're getting some Khajiit, some Pirates, and some other stuff. Looks pretty cool. Hey, all you Pyromancers out there, Reens made a fun new weapon. The Matchstick of Doom. It looks like a regular match until you use it in battle. Then whoosh, this weapon is lit. <sighs> Literally. <laughs> coming this Friday. And I, I didn't know that was coming and they hit me with the lit. Alright, next one. I'm moving on from that. Lit. Alright. I don't think, you, can you do this still? Or whatever. <laughs> Mother's Day is next month. The Father's Day after that. Then Father's Day after that, if I could read. We want to celebrate all our dads. The much love, the unknown, and the undead. Welcome to you. Welcome to, okay, I need glasses. In June 2019, discover a father like no other as we celebrate Sepulcher and Graveland's timeless bond in the Father Day of Doom. So basically confirming that we're getting like a Graveland Sepulcher event for Father's Day. Pretty cool. That's coming up. Lay made an Iron Throne with, uh, I think that's Blizzy. I think that's the Moglin's name. Correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, it's very, very cute. I hope hopefully the Moglin is part of that if they make that a house item, which they should. And it should be a drop off of a certain dragon. That'd be cool. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool there. Game of Thrones. That's almost over. Speaking of dragons, I don't know. This reminds me of dragons a little bit. A little demon dragon looking thing. Uh, infernalized Demiurge? Uh, uh, something like that. These beings are infernals themselves, however, acquire power of infernals by consuming their souls. This seems very, very edgy. I like the colors. I like the red with the like the teal greenish color. Very cool. And uh, yeah, I like that shade of red quite a bit. Hairstyles look nice. I like the uh, the eyes. Those are very cool. And uh, yeah, it's so all around a good looking set there from uh, August. Shadows are okay. I believe in angels. Something good in everything I see. So I guess a uh, kind of angel thing here. Not too sure. You can always tell it's Shadow Slayer K's art from, well, the face and the hair. The hair is always its special, unique thing. Doesn't look like any of the other hair in anything for Adventure Quest, so it's, you can always tell. Krulong made this art for fun, it would seem. Just kidding. <laughs> it's not for fun, alright. So, probably for the Atabe shop. You know, those Japanese cartoons. Uh, oof. I, yeah, I don't know what anime, but, uh, you know, the comment section always knows. They always know. Uh, so this set has showed up, I think, probably the most out of any set I've ever had on these news videos. It, it keeps popping up for, for whatever reason. Uh, maybe one day they'll release it into the game. Um, but we got new art for it. So a new hairstyle here coming soon. Smiley face. So I do like that hair. That's a cool hair. With, hopefully there's a version of the hair without the hat. You know, that's always something people want, so hopefully that's something we'll do for it, maybe. I, I, but I do really like the hat on it anyway, so either or, good for me. Good with me, whatever. Hey, do you guys know that uh, NES game they're making? Well, apparently they got enough money to the point where they're making an Adventure Quest Worlds map based on the game, so it'll use screenshots from the 8-bit game as a map, and according to something I read that I don't have a source for right now, my bad, a news video with no sources. Um, I think there's going to be items included with the map, so maybe there'll be a little thing to farm, kind of like the AQ3D map in Adventure Quest. Like this map. So this is Slash Join AQW3D. 
and it's just screenshots from Adventure Quest uh, 3D in Adventure Quest Worlds. There's actually like RGB marshmallow sticks here. You can get an AQ3D pet there. Uh, there's stuff you can farm here if you go up in the battle on. This, oh, this is like two or three battle ons ago for AQ3D. So if you go in here, you can farm some AQ3D items. So I imagine the 8-bit event would be something like this, where you could uh, maybe farm some 8-bit drops or something in that map. So that's pretty cool, and that stress goal got met, so I think everyone's going to get that for Adventure Quest Worlds. Pretty cool stuff. Furrow is still working on the pirate set. Been working on it for a while. It's actually shaping up really well. Now with some like Halloween masks for the uh, hat. You can see the hat has a little mask on it too. So looking good, looking pretty cool. And uh, TLPD this year should be pretty sweet. We are getting pirate stuff before Talk Like a Pirate Day, so there's that too. Update on the sequel to Arch Fiend Doom Lord, which I don't think has a name yet. I actually like this set quite a bit. That's some good looking armor right there as far as plate armor goes. Uh, there you go. And a male version right there also. Speaking of pirates, A ranks with uh, options here. Arms. You want arms on your, you, know, you want sleeves? Sleeves on your arms? Well, there you go. Uh, two of them. They'll probably both make their way into the game knowing how much stuff they put into each release. They'll probably both be in there. For some reason, it looks like uh, number one is winning. So it looks like people like sleeves more than not. Okay, usually I'll have like a slight little clue, but I just won't say about what anime uh, things are from. I think this is from an anime, but I have absolutely zero idea. Usually I have like, I'm like, that looks like it could be from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> this one, I don't know. Is Yu-Gi-Oh an anime? Probably. Speaking of the Kickstarter, we were earlier. Um, not a good transition at all, but <laughs> here are a few items, the uh, little, uh, the little dog and the axe. I can't think of the, why can't I think of the dog save? I'm blanking. Okay. I'm blanking. Uh, the axe you see there was for, uh, test for positioning. The final art will have some eight bit effects and, uh, maybe some other cool extras. None of the digital items for the Kickstarter are exclusive. All of the, uh, dungeons and Doom Knights in-game items will be available if you get the game on Hero Mart. So these won't be Kickstarter exclusives. You'll also be able to get them on Hero Mart. So if you miss the Kickstarter, you don't have to worry about missing items in Adventure Quest Worlds. Pretty cool. Last bit of news. It's a spoiler. Thanks for watching. We like if you like if you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Use my credit code Corey in Fortnite. Support the channel a lot, and I'll see you guys on the next one. But uh, if you see this, uh, Crab says i bet drakith could curb stomp on that guy and tear his soul out like what he did with sepulcher and uh elena said to remember this tweet so what uh is that hinting at drakith coming back okay so my thoughts on that real quick as we end the video is don't do that <laughs> I mean, you can. I mean, Adventure Quest basically survives off nostalgia, but might be better to start something new and better. Maybe. I mean, maybe bring them back for like one little comeback. Remember Drakith, boys? Remember that? Um, but no, <laughs> that's over. That was a long time ago, and it's done. We should move on from that and uh, move on from the Queen of Monsters also. So thanks for watching, boys and girls. I'll see you all in the next one. We like, like, subscribe to the channel if you're not ready. And I think I already said all that, so goodbye. Thanks for watching, boys.